Hey guys, ACP here, welcome to part 2. In this part we're going to cover installation of, uh, or the, basically the Ubuntu installation. Now what I want to first do is I'm going to click on this virtual box. It's going to ask if it wants to capture my mouse. It's going to say the host key is currently defined as so and so, in my case right control. Now if I capture at the moment, my mouse can't move anywhere outside of this box, okay? All I have to do is press that host key, in my case again right control, and I will get my original mouse back. So let's maximize this so you can see it properly and capture and we'll just uh, run through this. So select the language, select the time zone now, uh, is that, yep that's the right time for me, oh you can select also the region and the city down here, I'm in London. Um, next step, okay now you have a keyboard layout. This is kind of important because uh, this will determine what um, if you press this key, it prints out a B instead of an A or something, I don't know. Uh, so, this is quite important that you select the right one. Um, something some of you might have encountered is when you press, uh, like, shift and then the number 2 key, it puts an at instead of you'd normally be used to it putting a double quote. And so those two are reversed. So that's w kind of what the keyboard layout means. Here you can see it does it right for me. Um, I can try and change it to see if it will ultimately change. Uh, where's USA? Oh. Not here so far. But let's just say I select like Guinea or something and then I type in, you can see what it's doing now. I'm typing in on a QWERTY keyboard and it's typing in Guinea characters, okay? So, oh, there we go, there's USA. Um, so now let me just get rid of this. Now when I, this this is me pressing my shift 2, which on my keyboard says it's um, a double quote, but in fact it's not. When I do my shift and then single apostrophe, or what, apostrophe, not single apostrophe, of course, because, yeah, you get the point there, um, or single quote, actually, it would be, probably, wouldn't it, yeah, so here's single quote, and then shift single quote is a double quote, whereas my double quotes says on my keyboard it's above the two, so that's um, an example, basically, and then change back, now it's in the right place, okay, so it's kind of important, it suggested the right option for me, so I'm going to stick with that, just so nothing screws up you know, for some reason, I don't know. Um, okay, now there's the partitioner. We need to um, set partitions for our hard drive. Um, now, this is kind of hard to do manually, so I'd suggest you just let it do it um, as it suggests you do it and just use the entire disk, unless you're advanced with partitioning. Uh, now this could take a while, I might have to stop the video. Oh, okay, it didn't take too long. That might not be one of the parts that takes too long now. So I'll just put in, um, uh, password can be Linux, I'll just type that again in case, Linux. And it automatically suggests names, depending on the name you put in and stuff. So, yeah. And then you can set in whether you log in automatically or you have to type in a password. I'll make it type in a password. Um, yeah, I'll continue. That's fine with a weak password. Whatever. Okay, now it's going to install. Um, I'm going to click this. It's probably going to take a while. So, yeah, I'm going to pause the video again, guys. We'll come back when the system is fully set up. Anyways, for now, over and out. Hey guys, ASIP here, and welcome back to the third part. Uh, as you can see, my installation is just about done now. Um, hopefully, once it finishes installing, it will restart. Yep, it will ask me to restart. Um, oh, capture as well, yeah, whoops. Uh, let me uh, maximize this actually first. Okay, here we go. Now, when I looked at the replay, I saw I had two mouses. Don't really worry about that. Uh, it, I mean, it's not a big bother, is it, really? So, don't need to worry too much about it. 
Um, hopefully this video you're watching in HD so you could see all of the text I was typing and all of the options and stuff. Because if you want, because it, I recorded it on full screen, I had to because um, when I when I let Ubuntu capture my mouse or when I let uh, VirtualBox capture my mouse, um, it kind of screwed up a bit, and so for that reason, I couldn't really do it without making it full screen. So yeah, uh, and I know why that's happened. We're going to quickly close down now, power off the machine, go ahead and open up VirtualBox, oops, close these two, um, go to your virtual machine, click the settings button again, now go to the CD blah blah blah, and deselect mount CD slash DVD drive, or uh, deselect mount um, the ISO image file, because that's the thing which is um, making it do the uh, Ubuntu install thingy, uh, if you got what I meant from that, <laughs> probably just about got it there, uh, but anyway now you can see it's not running that, it's starting up the Linux machine, so that's a good sign. Um, go ahead and click OK and just let Ubuntu load, and in a couple of seconds we should be running Linux. Um, now, I don't know about you guys, that took maybe 10 minutes for me, so really pretty easy way to get a Linux virtual box. It's going to ask me for my, oh, let me let it capture my thing. Type it, oh wait, my username is Chris, my password is Linux. And if all is well, log in. There we go. We can hit, might just be able to hear that the music there. Try to put my mic up to the speakers, uh, and we are now in Linux. We can customize our desktop, change background, something a little cooler. Uh, oh, they don't have the original one with the like. Uh, I don't know what it was, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we're on Linux now. We can run, you know, terminal. We can sudo apt get install python. Okay, now we have Python. And hello world. Okay, so um, there you go. That's how to install a Linux virtual box really quite easily um, in a very short time. Uh, over and out for now, guys.